Article 1, I move to hear the reading of the reports of the officers and committees. I have the treasurer's report for the fiscal year 20, 000, 2000, 2018 audit, which was completed without any deficiencies Department of Revenue requires a copy of the annual audit and the Department of Revenue is pleased with the audit. 
Bond rating for the district is a double A minus, which is an outstanding, which is outstanding for the size of the district. Bond Council was impressed with the district's finances, low debt, and strong cash reserves, along with the Town of Wareham collection of the district's taxes with a very low outstanding amount receivable. Current balance for other post employee benefits is $824,000. Balance and if the district continues with an annual $50,000 deposit to the OPEB account, the district will satisfy its financial liability in 15 years. Interest earned in four years since this was opened $92,800. Date open 2015 with four years of contributing. The liability is $2.8 million. Free cash was certified as of July 1, 2018 with $208,398. OPEB has $50,000, Fire Department $50,000, Apparatus Repair, and Fire Department $10,000, Protective Clothing. A total of $110,000 free cash used. $98,398 will be turned to free cash for fiscal year 2019. The stabilization balance is $2.1 million. $1 million will be used for the building of the fire station. The ladder truck has one payment left after this year's appropriation, and our solar panel, our solar project payments, which started in 2016, total amounts received is $185,000. Water commissioners are funding OPEB for $45,000 and future stamp height for $145,000. Our current tax rate is $2.76 with last year's tax rate at $2.73. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, and the other committees have any reports yet? Uh, do the Water Commission have any reports? Water Department. The water department has been busy installing new meters, which help to make the department run more efficiently. Thank you to the, for the provincial committee and the voters who approved the funds to be moved from the district to the water department at the last district meeting in order to purchase the meters. The renovation of wall four is almost complete. And thank you again to the provincial committee and the voters for funding the generator for this project. Number two, fire inspection. The water commission is a great hope to the fire department for the yearly inspection of the water department building on Sand Pond Road. There were some safety issues that were brought to the, our attention and we were able to fix all problems in a timely manner to ensure the safety of our employees and visitors to the water department. Number three, online bill pay. We are currently working with Unibank to implement online payments of water bills. The customer will have the option to pay by credit card or check online. We are hoping this will make it easier for our customers to make payments. Number four, attendance at meetings. The Board of Water Commissioners encourage all residents to attend our bi-weekly meetings. They are open to the public and there is an opportunity for citizens to speak and express their concerns as well as the opportunity to learn about what is going on in their water department. All meetings are posted at the Wareham Town Hall and will in the future be posted on the district website whose address is on the front of your warrant. Thank you. Are there any other reports from any other committees? Ladies and gentlemen, uh, first of all, uh, for the building committee, uh, we have made substantial progress from last year to this year's meeting. Um, the lot has been cleared. We're working on stumping it. The land's been surveyed. We're working on the final iterations of the design. Uh, due to some cost overruns, when we first started the project, municipal buildings were being priced out at roughly $444 a square foot. Uh, due to cost escalation for materials increase, things of that nature, uh, the current current pricing right now is around $502 a square foot. So 
we had to make several uh, cost saving measures. We shrunk the building somewhat. We've had to take some of the spaces out of the building. We've gone to some different construction materials and reduced as much of the overall material going into the building as we do it to meet our budget and <coughs> it under budget. Uh, it's been a significant challenge, but we have managed to keep the, the project going forward and keeping within the $8 million budget that you guys graciously gave us for the project. And I thank everybody for their support last year for that. Um, and the building committee has been working tirelessly to um, keep us within the budget and keep everything moving forward. We've also started, um, we're going to transfer some equipment from the existing station to the new station, such as air compressors. We, we acquired an army surplus generator, which is in almost new condition, so that was a savings of about $100,000 towards our project, so we were able to keep some cost savings there. We want to buy a new generator from the station. Uh, we have acquired some furniture and furnishings for the station that are in new condition, so we'll, we'll be storing them until the building is ready. So at every opportunity, we've been trying to keep us within that $8 million uh, budget to keep the project moving forward. Uh, and the members of the building committee, um, Frank Kauzik, Diane DiStefano, Ed Ransom, Dave Halberstead, myself, Lenny Gay, and Marcin Fernandez, uh, they've all done a great job, and they've worked a lot, a lot of hours into this and worked very hard on this project. Um, secondarily, for the fire department, we have completed our first five-year cycling budgeting, so in 2013, I laid out a capital plan for the fire department. And I'm happy to say that we've completed the capital plan this year. Uh, the last acquisition, hopefully within that, will be the replacement of Engine 1, which we've been putting funds over each year into a new vehicle account. We started a new vehicle five years ago to kind of offset the cost of capital purchases because the cost of equipment is significant. Uh, so every year, whatever money we can put into new vehicles, we try to put in every year to offset the cost. So the replacement of engine one this year, the 1988, there are some repairs that will be coming up on the truck. At this point, I don't see expending a lot of funds into the tens and twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 for different projects on the truck for a 30-year-old fire truck. We need to invest that money in a newer vehicle, so we'll make the truck run as long as we can. Hopefully, with your support this evening, we will uh, replace engine one. Also, as a portion of that, to reduce the fleet, we're going to get rid of the rescue one and condense two vehicles into one. So one of our capital issues we're working on is making the fleet more efficient, fewer vehicles to maintain, and trying to control costs that way because the cost of maintenance annually has just been going up. The cost of vehicles, like with everything else, has been going up. So we're going to try to reduce the number of vehicles, and then hopefully that will reduce some of the maintenance costs associated with those vehicles. For uh, the department, we started a program about four years ago with Mass Maritime, using Mass Maritime insurance, training them, and then utilizing them at the fire station they become certified firefighters, and then in their times there, they scan duty watches at the station to <coughs> provide additional manpower. So that's been a very successful program with a minimal of cost to the district, but an overall savings are probably into the three or four hundred thousand dollar range in the amount of hours that they work at the station, uh, that they're basically only paid to the call. So if they're there for a 12 hour shift in, at night, they go to two calls, they'd be paid for the two calls, but the remainder of the time, they're there on their own. So, but they're in the building ready to respond. And that has been a, a very successful program. We hope to continue building that out, that, that capability out. Um, and then our within our capital plan, we've also had what I call uh, equipment replacement cycling. So small equipment such as power tools, thermal imagers, defibrillators, computers, and things of those natures. We now have everything on our rotating schedule. So we try to replace a few things prior to them going out of service, like one or two units a year replace things over a period of time to kind of drag out the, the payment cycle, if you will. And the other problem we're having is we were doing very large acquisitions of equipment all at once. And then when they had to be replaced, they had to be replaced all at once. So we have to come back and go, oh, we need X number of dollars. So doing it over a period of five or six years or four or five years, doing a smaller amount each year, and then that way we're only replacing a few pieces of equipment annually instead of going, we need all of our gear replaced. We need all of the power tools replaced or whatever. We're just doing it over a cycle period now, so we're trying to control costs that way also. Um, thank you very much for your attention. Uh, are there any other reports? Very nice. So the motion, you will be voting on penalty. Uh, I move to hear the reading of the reports of the offices and committee. So move, is there a second? Second. Is there any, any questions or discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? The intention. Okay. And it's approved unanimously. Yeah. Article 2. Move on.
Mr. Moderator, ladies and gentlemen, I move that the district vote to authorize the treasurer with the approval of the Prudential Committee to enter into compensating balance agreements as permitted by Massachusetts General Law, Chapter 44, Section 53F, for the fiscal year beginning on July 1st, 2019, and ending on June 30th, 2020. Add anything thereon or thereon to sections A, B, and C, so I'll read them separately and we'll vote on them independently. Article 4, Motion A, I move that the district vote to raise and appropriate from taxation for the salary of the clerk treasurer in the amount of $58,514 and transfer from water department revenue $17,500 for the fiscal year beginning July 1, 2019 and ending on June 30, 2020. Act anything thereon or thereunto. Okay, Article 4 is before you, and of course, uh, Article 4 is the move that the district vote to raise and appropriate from taxation salary of the clerk treasurer in the amount of $58,514 that be transferred from water department revenue. $17,500 for the fiscal year beginning July 1st, ending on June 30th, 2020. Is there a second? Second. Discussion? Question? I have a question. Yes. Oh. Please identify yourself and your address. My name is Holly Daniels at 1213 Street. I can't do that math in my head. Um, does that equal the amount that's in here? Yes, okay. yes it does. Thank you. So if there are, I, could I just ask if there are other things like that, if you could just tell us what the total is, that would be helpful. Thanks. Yes, I 
Is any other any other discussion? Any questions? On the okay, all those in favor? Wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry, please. Frank and Joey from Grove Street. Uh, from memory, last year, the year before, there was a large increase of between 10 and 12 percent. What type of percentage is this? I will ask the court director to address that. The, uh, the percentage of increase this year is 3 percent. Last year was? Two and a half. Two and a half last year. The year before was? Three this year. Year before was two percent. No, the year before. One of the last two years, there was a large increase. Yes, there was an increase, uh, roughly about three thousand dollars increase to try to get my salary within the range of my peers, and I'm still below my peers as far as the salary. Is <coughs> Are there any other questions? Seeing none. Uh, all those in favor of approving the motion, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? It's unanimous. Okay, it's part B. Mr. Moderator, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, Article 4, Motion B. I move that the district vote to raise and appropriate from taxation for the salaries of the Prudential Committee $5,250 and that each member receive $1,750 for the fiscal year beginning July 1, 2019 and ending June 30, 2020. Act anything thereunto or thereunto. Okay, this is part B of Article 4. And this is for the Salaries of the Prudential Committee. Uh, we the district vote to raise an appropriate for taxation for the Salaries of the Prudential Committee, $5,250 each member received seventeen hundred and fifty dollars for coming to this little year. It's been made. Is there a second? Second. Are there any questions? <coughs> Seeing them, all those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Any attention? Any unanimous? Part C. <coughs> Mr. Moderator, ladies and gentlemen, motion C. I move that the district vote to raise and appropriate from taxation for the salary of the moderator, one hundred dollars for the fiscal year beginning July 1, 2019 and ending on June 30, 2020. Act anything <coughs> thereon or thereunto. Okay, you have proxy before you. The salary for the moderator of $100. Zero percent increase, so don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a second? <coughs> Any questions? All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Any abstentions? <coughs> Article 5 is before you. <coughs> Mr. Moderator, ladies and gentlemen, I move that the district vote to raise an appropriate from taxation a sum of $910,050 and transfer from Water Department Revenue $50,000 for the fiscal year beginning July 1st, 2019 and ending June 30th, 2020 for the following. District insurance, meetings and elections, all other expenses, contingent reserve, Plymouth County retirement, Blue Cross Blue Shield, deferred compensation, Medicare slash FICA, legal fees, audit, clerk treasurer general expenses, unemployment compensation, and indemnification. Act or act anything thereon or thereon to. In, in your booklet on Article 5, you'll notice that, that on the FY2020 column, the total is $960,050. That's the 910 plus the 50 from the water department. And it has a breakdown of the actual uh, each one of those items that I, that I read off has the breakdown if, if anyone has a question on those. <coughs> Jovina Dean, 
uh, everybody knows I was on the board for 21 years here, and to the last of residents this long. I'm very curious. I don't know who can answer this for me. Over the course of the years, I've noticed that our legal fees have really don't way up. Is there a reason? Mm -hmm. I don't know if anybody can answer. Ah, uh, we have a answer. Um, the, um, the cost is going up. Yeah, the wait, wait for the microphone. I thought everybody could hear me without it. Um, the fees have gone up because there's been a lot of requests for information um, through the treasurer's office, which um, we have to a lot of times consult <coughs> the attorneys to protect the district. So that's what's caused us um, to go up. There's also Years ago, historically, the, before we changed the bylaws, the, the uh, uh, members of the Board of Engineers were elected every three years they ran for their position. At a, at a district meeting a few years back, it was changed. But well, never, they never entered into memorandum of agreements, contracts with the, with the employees. So we've been working on those now for a couple of years to try to get, get these employees covered under some type of a labor agreement. Uh, so that, that's also added some legal fees in the last few years. Uh, uh, back a few years ago, the, when the first concept of the, of the solar field was, was uh, uh, brought up, uh, there was some disagreement between the boards, and that, that cost us some legal fees. So, so that, you know, that's, that's what's happened over the years. But uh, you know, hopefully, it, and we can get that under control and that, get that, that number reduced in, in the following years. Okay, Mr. Is there any other questions? Okay, the vote will come on question five, and the items, the two columns, are exactly as printed in your warrant. Hearing no other questions, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Are there any opposed? Any abstentions? I see none, so it is unanimous. Out of the six, is Can everybody hear me without the mic? We can hear you, but the cameras can't. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. I got three now. <laughs> I move that the district vote to raise and appropriate from taxation the sum of $38,500 for clerical and administrative expenses and assessments for the town of Wayham for services rendered to the on supply district. Books and clerical, 38,000. Assessors, 500. For the physical year beginning on July 1, 2019, and ending June 30th, 2020. Act anything thereon or thereunto. Okay, you've heard Mr. Fernandes make motion for Article 6. Is there a second to her motion? Okay, now the discussion, the question comes under Article 6, which of course is a district vote to raise and appropriate from taxation the sum of $38,500 for clerical and administrative expenses and assessors for the town of Wareham. The services rendered to the Arts and Fire District, books and clerical, $38,000, assessors $500 for the fiscal year beginning July 1st, 2019, and ending of June 30th. Are there any, any questions? Yes, please identify yourself. Right. My name is Frank Julie, one minute left. I'm just curious, all these increases, how much is our average household going to cost? How much more is this going to go up? Are you all together? I, I guess I'd like to ask you to rephrase you know, how much is this going to go up? What are you referring all, to? Well, the our taxes, our water bills. All these, we're asking for all this money. I'm just looking. What's the average household going to end up paying for all these increases? Is, is there anybody here to who would answer the gentleman's question? <laughs> yes. Last year's district tax rate was two dollars and seventy-three cents per thousand dollar valuation. This year. Uh, the tax rate is going to be two dollars and seventy six cents. It's going up three cents for a thousand for a thousand dollars valuation. Okay, thank you. Thank you. 
Are there any other questions or discussion on Article 6? Seeing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Are there any opposed? Any abstentions? It is unanimous. Have you for us Article 7? Article 7, Mr. Moderator, ladies and gentlemen, I move that the district vote to raise and appropriate from taxation the sum of $160,500 for the debt and interest due on the loan of the new ladder truck for the fiscal year beginning July 1, 2019 and ending June 30, 2020. Act anything thereon or thereunto. Seven is before you. Is there a second? Okay. Any questions? Any discussion? I think also earlier that uh, Chief did address this issue, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, please. Uh, the Chief did address it earlier. He said uh, that this is the last year we're going to have appropriations for this truck. One more payment after this one. So there'll be five here, there'll be one more payment. Oh, one more after this. Okay, thank you. Are there any other questions? <coughs> Seeing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? <coughs> it's unanimous. Article 8. Mr. Moderator, ladies and gentlemen, I move that the district vote to raise and appropriate from taxation the sum of $205,000 for the debt and interest due on the loan of the new fire station for the fiscal year beginning on July 1st, 2019, and ending June 30th, 2020, or act anything thereon or thereon to. Article 8 is before you. Is there a second? Second. Okay, we are open now to questions or discussion. For any questions? Okay. Seeing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? It is unanimous. Article 9. <clears throat> Mr. Moderator, ladies and gentlemen, I move that the district vote to transfer from free cash the sum of $50,000 to other post-employment benefits trust fund or OPEB trust fund as defined in Governmental Accounting Standard Board Statement 43 and 45 for the purpose of funding future financial obligations of the district for health insurance benefits of retirees. The district treasurer shall be the custodian of the OPEB trust fund. Act anything thereon or thereunto. Article 9 is before you. Is there a second? Are there any questions? Discussion on Article 9. Seeing that, all those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Are there any abstentions? Is unanimous. Article 10, Article 10, Mr. Moderator, ladies and gentlemen, I move to see if the district will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $270,992.19 for the salaries of the Board of Engineers, who shall act a permanent firefighters of the fire department and shall be paid as follows, or as set by any collective bargaining agreement. Chief Engineer, $99,260.35. Assistant Engineer, $85,865.92. Second Assistant Engineer, $85,865.92. For the fiscal year beginning July 1, 2019, and ending June 30, 2020, or act anything thereon or thereunto. Article 10 is before you. Is there a second? Second. Okay. The motion has been made and seconded. Are there any questions or any discussion? Yes, sir. I'm not sorry. This is. Please state your name again. Holly Vanness, uh, 12 um, Last year, um, we had a medical emergency at our, at our house. And um, um, without the quick response that we got from the fire department, um, our lives would be 
very, very different today. Um, so I'm just standing up to say thank you very much for that. And um, I urge everybody to support this article and the next one. Um, because um, when you have been in a situation like that, you know that it is very critical that you have people who are professional and quick acting and um, can do what needs to be done to save people's lives. Thank you very much. Are there any other questions? Any comments? Seeing them, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any intentions? It is unanimous. Mr. Moderator, ladies and gentlemen, Article 11, it is as printed in your uh, warrant that you have. Article 11, motion, I move to see if the district will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $843,350.92 for the payroll account of the fire department which shall cover the hourly wages for emergencies, drills, details, shift coverage, stipends, and longevity pay as set by the chief engineer for an hour or fraction thereof or is set by any collective bargaining agreement for the fiscal year beginning July 1, 2019 and ending June 30th, 2020, or at anything their own or their own terms. Article 11 is before you, a motion is made. Is there a second? Okay, we have any questions or discussion on Article 11? It is as printed in your warrant. Uh, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? It's unanimous. Item 12. Ladies and gentlemen, Article 12, I move to see if the district will uh, vote to transfer from free cash the sum of $10,000 to account number 1035212, protective clothing uniform account, or act anything thereon or thereon to. I move to see if the district will vote to transfer from free cash the sum of $50,000 to the apparatus repair account 103.5215 and that the added two funds available in that account for the purpose of rehabilitation, frame and water repairs to engine two, the 2002 Smeal pumping engine, or act anything thereon or thereunto.
due to the government shutdown, the grants would normally be right by this time of year, and I would be able to give you a better idea of where we're at. Unfortunately, we're probably two months behind. They were talking June or July, possibly, before we knew the outcome of that. So not knowing that, I put the full amount of the $250,000. If we don't get the grant, that would be the maximum to borrow. But it may be less, depending if we get a grant or a partial grant. No, so there will be two more articles further on where we have money in an existing account. So there'll be an article for a total, up to a total possible figure, but this is the only borrowing. The rest of the money will be transferred from other existing accounts or in an account. So this is this would be the maximum borrowed if we needed it. But all the other monies, uh, which when I get to the other articles, I'll read them to you. Um, but there'll be two other articles subsequent or after this one. Excuse me. What would be the total cost? It could be as much as 625, but if we only get the 250, it'll be down around um, 500 and uh, 540. But we're only be borrowing like to the 250. We already have 250 in, in savings. Are there any other questions? <coughs> Seeing none. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any abstentions? It is unanimous. Article 15. Ladies and gentlemen, Article 15, I move to see if the district will vote to purchase and equip from the new vehicle account a pumping engine to replace and trade in engine one, the 1998 maximum pumping engine, for some not to exceed $625,000 or after anything thereon or thereunto. Is there a second to Article 15? Second. Second. And I believe in the previous article, the chief did address the issue of the supposed bond. Any more transfers coming in, okay? Are there any further questions or debate on Article 16? I'm sorry, Article 15. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Are there any opposed? Any abstentions? Please unanimous. We have Article 16. Mr. Moderator, ladies and gentlemen, Article 16. I move to see if the district will vote to transfer from contractual benefits and liabilities account 1035267 the sum of $30,000 for replacement of a staff vehicle or act anything thereon or thereon to. Article 16 is before you. Is there a second? Second. Questions? <coughs> Concerns? Discussion? Seeing that all those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed? The abstention is unanimous. Article 17. Ladies and gentlemen, um, Article 17, I move to see if the district will vote to authorize and direct the treasurer to transfer monies into the fire department new vehicle account 1035258 and any remaining funds at the close of 2019 fiscal year from the following accounts. Uh, so source account would be payroll, any remaining funds for this year, any trade-ins, any possible grants, uh, monies out of the fire truck trust fund, FEMA, Irene Storm reimbursement for 3752 and 64 FEMA March 2nd and 3rd reimbursement for 6720 and 98 cents. Just for everybody's edification, uh, the grant, if we get it, would be as much as $397,000. Thank you. <coughs> Anything further to be said on Article 17? All those in 
favor, please say aye. Aye. Are there any opposed? Any abstentions? It is unanimous. <coughs> Article 18 is before you. Mr. Moderator, ladies and gentlemen, Article 18. I move to see if the district will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $164,000 for the following existing and new fire department accounts. Maintenance and operation, $117,000. Training, testing, $6,000. Apparatus repair, $8,000. Fire hose, $1,000. Radios, $7,000. Self-contained breathing apparatus, $5,000. Protective clothing, $12,000. Firefighter health and wellness, $8,000. For a total of $164,000. For the fiscal year beginning July 1, 2019 and ending June 30th, 2020, direct anything there on or there in June.
Sum of six hundred ninety-eight thousand five hundred dollars and no cents. The following: M and O, medical insurance, property insurance, and workman's compensation, Plymouth County Retirement, FICA, Medicare, and meter revitalization program for the fiscal year beginning on July first, two thousand nineteen, and ending on June thirtieth, two thousand twenty or act anything thereon or thereunto. to raise and appropriate from Water Department revenue the sum of $5,250 into the Water Department's account 5509 Board of Water Commissioners account for the salaries of the Board of Water Commissioners to be dispersed equally for the fiscal year beginning July 1, 2019 and ending June 30th, 2020. Our act. Anything thereon or thereunto. Article 23. I move the district vote to raise and appropriate from Water Department revenue the sum of $343,000 into the Water Department's debt and interest account number 5561 for the debt and interest payment for the Water Department's newest water source and Cranberry Highway project for the fiscal year 2020 or act anything thereon or thereunto. Please say aye. Aye. Are there any opposed? Any abstentions? Any unanimous? 
Item 24. Mr. Moderator, ladies and gentlemen, I move the district vote to authorize and direct the treasurer to transfer monies into the Water Department Well Renovation Account 6006.5519. Any remaining funds at the close of the 2019 fiscal year from payroll account 6005.5001 or act anything thereon or thereon. Department Well Renovation Account number 6006.5519. Any remaining funds at the close of the 2019 fiscal year from Medical Insurance Account number 6005.5529 or act anything thereon or thereunto. Mr. Moderator, ladies and gentlemen, I move that the district will vote to raise and appropriate from Water Department revenue the sum of $41,000 for the replacement and trade-in of the 1997 dump truck and to purchase of a new dump truck or act anything thereon or thereunto. Benefits of retirees. 
The district treasurer shall be the custodian of the OPEN trust fund for the fiscal year beginning on July 1, 2019 and ending on June 30th.